Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. Today, I wanted to talk about the Banu Merchantman updates from CitizenCon 2021, as well as the four new concept ideas that Cloud Imperium showed and asked the community to vote on. At CitizenCon 2019, we saw the ships that eventually became the Rock Miner, Talon Tavaran Fighter, and Gatak Roilan, uh, the Xi'an cargo ship. And there is a refinery ship that is apparently coming pretty soon, potentially around the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. It might be from MISC, but the details are purposefully fuzzy um, from Cloud Imperium. There are four new super early concepts that they showed at CitizenCon 2021, though. A new large explorer ship that is going to be competition potentially to the Carrack. That's the sort of idea there. Um, a new ground vehicle, maybe an APC or military um, sort of type vehicle like that. A hover vehicle, sort of like a new gravlev bike. And the sort of concept here looks a bit like a Xi'an or Tavaran sort of styled bike. And finally, we have a new ground bombing ship, a single seater specifically focused at bombing is the idea here. Um, you can get involved on the poll on the RSI website and talk about uh, what you like most from those four options. I'll link that all down below. I think that I'd like to see the new Explorer and maybe an APC the most there. Um, those are the, the two that talk to me the most. Uh, Zin very much is um, into the APC and wants it to be um, sort of aliens styled APC. Uh, a ground bomber makes sense as well, but I think I'd rather see the ships like the Eclipse and Gladiator get bomb payload options instead uh, of a whole new bomber, maybe. But what do you think? Now on to the main event. The Banu Merchantman was talked about. Uh, the ship has evolved somewhat. So the ship is currently in production, so it's being worked on. It's been scaled up and has been made larger. The ship now has a hangar for the Banu Defender. Um, this had the biggest impact to the merchantman and the work that they've done to it. Uh, the hangar is at the top front of the ship and opens up, um, so it is sort of enclosed when not accepting um, or releasing a fighter from it. The merchantman has two massive size 8 weapons tucked away that open out and extend from the uh, sort of near its nose. Uh, there are manned turrets, I believe they said they were size 5, tucked away that open up as well. Um, there are also four automated point defense weapons, two on top near the bridge and two underneath. Now, these are going to automatically try to shoot down missiles, um, projectiles, torpedoes, things like that that get near. I'm not entirely sure um, if they actually provide fighter defense as well, but they are supposed to be these automated systems and will give much better coverage of a sneaky torpedo. There are two remote turrets controlled from the bridge under the wings as well. The ship just has a huge array of um, conventional weapons uh, to basically defend it. It's not supposed to be like a ship of war, but in law, uh, the Banu do bring these to bear in combat. They sort of like get all of the ships um, that all of the Solis and all of their local governments can to bear if they need to do security or go to war. So for access to the ship, the bottom ramp opens up, which basically doubles up as the fuel scoop when it's in flight. But you have this sort of ramp opening up and that leads visitors into the marketplace. The cargo is much more secure and internally stored in an armored underbelly and it looks like you can actually just quite easily eject and um, move the cargo onto the floor or to be um, unloaded um, from this area too. They've updated the materials on the ship, though what they showed was previs and will evolve further. They have fully overhauled the interior and they keep on talking about the phrase, the tree of life. Um, it's said multiple times and that's gonna help sort of like um, inform the look and the style of the ship. Um, there are a mix of gemstones and what I think looks like carved coral. It's very organic and has sometimes almost underwater themes. They talk about nautilus shells informing some of the design decisions here. The blue areas show where guests and traders will have access to typically, but the ship is very much split between um, sort of uh, people coming to visit and use the shops and then the crew. Um, accessing and looking after the rest of the ship. There are separate elevators for guests, for example, than there are for the crew. The ship has various shops that players and NPCs will be able to buy from. There are eight shops in total over two floors, and they've sort of got this holographic display in the middle of this area, 
kind of making it a bit like a shopping mall, but you'll be able to customize this holographic display to show different things, apparently, well, like all logos or buy this particular thing. Um, the ship needed quarters for long term living for both humans and Banu, and the ship is very much built with Banu and humans in mind. They showed some of the connecting corridors to the marketplace area. They also showed a quite functional large food or mess area. There is a massive engine and engineering area um, with a spinning thing going on that counter rotates. It's supposed to look really cool. The cargo area will have massive cargo containers that will be moved on by an onboard crane or giant magnet or something like that. Um, players will be able to um, sort of sort the cargo there and it's going to be on these like giant cargo containers that you might see at like um, Dockland uh, in the real world. It is planned to have a cargo of 2,800 SCU here, um, so that's less than some people would have wanted, but the ship does have multiple trading functions. It's a bit of a hauler, it's got a load of shops on, it's to take on visitors, it can probably resupply in the places um, that it goes and take its trade goods back to other places, but it's not just a, not just a hauler. The bridge is pretty big and has a lot going on on it and I'm hoping that we get to see a lot more of the bridge in the future and they actually give us a bit of a breakdown. They said that there was a little calm space off to the sides as well, so like almost like a prayer room and the, the Banu sort of like can go there and, and chill out. Uh, the Banu Merchantman isn't going to be ready anytime soon though. With current work ongoing into June 2022 and we don't know how much work will be needed even uh, once that current work is completed. But it is making progress, and seeing it expand, evolve, gain that hangar bay for the Defender, that's great to see. You can use that hangar to service and refuel a wing of Defenders one by one, giving them a much larger range, and actually providing a lot more defense for that Merchantman. And that Merchantman's obviously got quite a lot of pew pew uh, and boom boom with it, but um, it's not going to be um, great against um, lots of smaller ships, for example, or things like that. So um, having a wing of fighters might be a good idea. And I really like the idea of the weapons being hidden away on the merchantmen until they're needed. It makes sense for a trader to not be too threatening. And there is quite a lot of gun on the ship, um, along with some solid defense. Currently, the banning merchantman is $500, but I can see that potentially rising to maybe $750 total before its release. That said, it's probably one I'd suggest players get in game when it eventually turns up because it's pretty cost prohibitive as a ship. I suspect we'll see more on the Banu Merchantman Q1, Q2 of 2022 and I look forward to that. Another thing with shops, so last time Cloud Imperium talked about the shops for the uh, Kraken and the um, Banu Merchantman was basically they said that you'll be able to customize the shops and what they sell and sort their inventories out. Um, you could um, hire NPCs um, to look after those shops, but we're not really sure what level of automation is there as well. And um, you can have like a clothing store there, or you can have weapon stores, or you can have one of the various other archetypes. Now, this might evolve um, a lot in the future, and that might change around a bit, but um, I am very much looking forward to that. And it'll be interesting to see what sort of profits you can get from running your own little floating shopping mall. It's a little mini one, uh, and little tradey hauler boy. Boom! That's it for the Banner Merchantman updates. I hope you liked what you saw. What concept ship vehicle do you most want to see? Do you own a Merchantman? Are you liking the direction it's going? Whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Some people say I shill for NordVPN, but listen to some of these comments that I just made up. I've never fed the love of a woman before, but then I got NordVPN, and that didn't matter. Doctor said I'd never walk again, but then I got NordVPN. Now I've been running marathons. Also, I got robot legs around the same time. They might have helped somewhat too. Arr, I was a tone-deaf pirate, but after getting NordVPN, I'm able to play the saxophone. Go on, Zin, try and animate all of this. Click the links below to get NordVPN. It might lead you to a more fulfilling life, but more likely, it will just help protect you from the terrors of the internet. What ship are we giving away in October? It is one of the most exciting ships we've given away and one of the most popular. It's the Argo Cargo. So many people liked it, we thought we'd give one away instead of a Mercury Star Runner or a Carrack or something else. You can do fun things like fly around a planet or fly very slowly into the sun. And it also makes my top 16 ships that I liked in the ship showdown this year. Me and Zin are sort of on holiday for a week so we had to quickly film a ship giveaway so 
We do have CitizenCon coming up and we might have some other things going on on the channel that will make it worth your while commenting, so do what you want. I'm not your dad. You should definitely press the join button below my videos, though, and you should certainly like and subscribe and bell bother. Click on the bell. I don't know what it does, but it makes me money somehow. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Thanks very much for watching, though, and I'll see you in the next one.